Last weekend, Tony and I headed to Minnesota's North Shore to finally explore the Split Rock Wilds trail system. With the fall colors popping, we knew this was an opportunity we just couldn't pass up. Starting from a parking area in Beaver Bay, we briefly rode the Gitchigami State Trail until we hooked up with the Split Rock Wilds Trailhead. The first few trails were greens and blues, running parallel to Highway 61. When we turned the loop back northeast, we got a taste of the area's best technical black trails before finally descending back to the trailhead and towards Lake Superior. This is a sampling of the green trail called Highway 61. We love the flow and the natural feel of the trail. Along these first few trails, we found some optional features to session. Sessioning, nice. where you stop and practice a feature, is a fun part of mountain biking and a great way to progress your skills. Once on a blue trail called Mail Route, we started to see more rocks adding to the technicality of the trail, including sections where rocks were skillfully pieced together like an intricate puzzle. The amount of work that it must have taken to construct these trails is admirable. Some areas like this one had multiple line choices, adding to the fun. The frequency and difficulty of rock sections were amped up on the black trails. Often requiring oh bursts of power, these sections were both exhilarating and exhausting. We're doing a little run in the woods there. That's a fancy here, just really pretty. This is part of a black trail called Fade to Blue. I had to laugh after making it through this section because after all that I made it through, I came to a sudden stop when I butted into just a small lip of a rock that I didn't notice in time. Ah. This trail really has it all. Beautiful views made even better with the fall colors plus natural rock features that provide a healthy dose of tech. We could tell that this was a work of passion by the trail builders, literally leaving no stone unturned to provide an excellent experience. And with over 24 miles of trails to explore, it's worth the trip.
We were treated to a flowy descent on Neo Vision as we made our way back to the trailhead and down to Lake Superior. What an incredible ride. We'll be back. Yeah.